Hello, friends. I pray that this finds you well in body and in soul during this continued challenging time that we face. As, as I've been thinking about that, I was reminded of a season of life that my family and I went through some years ago where we had been poisoned through different ways, including through carbon monoxide poisoning. Our health was a mess. Um, it, it was an expensive time of life. There was lots of uncertainty. It was just a really trying time. And during that time, one of the things Joanna, my wife, um, encouraged us to do was to count our blessings, to literally r write them out and remember them and kind of go through them even every day. And we did that. And it was amazing how long the list was and, and how encouraging it was. And, and friends, I encourage us all to do the same thing in difficult times, maybe like we're facing now, uh, to count the things that you're thankful for and all the many ways that you have been blessed. It reminds me of the message that we considered Sunday from the first part of Acts chapter 28, where we saw Paul finally arrive in Rome and uh, in the text that we considered the first half of the chapter, there were many examples of how God had blessed the Apostle Paul in keeping him safe, preserving his life, using him, gifting him, and um, providing for him. And there was acts of kindness towards him. There were just so many ways that God's blessing on his life was evident. And it's true for us as well. But what's interesting about that is we considered God didn't bless Paul just for his own good and enjoyment. He blessed Paul that he might be a blessing to others. And that's the same for us. God has blessed us in many ways, not just for our good and enjoyment, but also that we might bless others. And so, my friends, think about the ways that you have been blessed and then how you can be a blessing to others. Right? If you're still alive, right? we still have life here now. Um, there's a reason. Uh, when people say, oh, I've survived this because God wasn't done with me yet or he had more work for me to do. That's good theology. That's true. And so while we are still here and alive, what does God want us to do in terms of some of the good works that he's prepared in advance for us? Also, um, have you been blessed with resources financially, materially, right? Many of us have in different ways. So that's great they're meant to be shared. They're meant not only to provide for you and your family's needs, but as, as you're presented with other opportunities with people in need, um, you're to share. Blessed to be a blessing, and including getting out the gospel to other people. As a matter of fact, have you been blessed to know a great deal of truth about the Lord, uh, to understand the gospel, and to understand uh, a, kind of a, have a biblical worldview of things. That's fantastic. Well, guess what? That's meant to be shared as well. Right? There are many people in the world that don't know the Lord yet, don't have that hope, and they need to know the hope. And so what we should be doing is looking for opportunities to share that hope with others. We've been blessed. Now we should be a blessing with that. Help others um, see their need of the Lord. Help them understand uh, how your greatest problem ever has been solved. And you've got the greatest treasure ever in eternal life. And, and how much more satisfying your life is even now that you have the Lord God Almighty as your constant companion and the leader of your life. And how that there is peace that surpasses understanding. How, how you no longer fear death and the many other things that come with knowing the Lord. Have you been blessed with a spiritual gift? Well, if you're in Christ, you definitely have. Use it. Use it to be a blessing to others, regardless of what it is. My friends, we are blessed to be a blessing. And in this unique time, let us all count our blessings and then seek to use them to be a blessing to others. My friends, may the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and give you his peace. Love to you all.